Last week, we really looked at um, what can cause births in a population to increase. And in the sim, we gathered evidence for um, what like energy is needed in order for organisms to do all the activities that they need to do in order to reproduce, such as attracting a mate or um, fighting off other um, people in order to be the person to have the territory in order to mate or to go to the place where they you have um, give birth or help protect the babies after they're born. So all that was part of the article as well. And we noticed in the sim that when the um, little wee bugs were um, reproducing, the little bar, the energy bar decreased. And so we know that it takes a lot of energy in order to um, re for re reproduction to occur. And we also collected evidence about that by different investigations, such as the um, a yeast investigation where you put different amounts of sugar in the cups and then the same amount of yeast. So we knew that the variable was the, the sugar because remember the variable that is being tested is the one that's changed. So in cup C that had the most sugar, there was the most bubbles, which really is about cellular respiration. So that was evidence that carbon dioxide was released, which means that energy was being, um, <clears throat> was being used. And we know that um, that ha happens based on the metabolism. Remember when energy is, is made, um, carbon dioxide is released. That was in when, when sugar is used up, that was what we learned about in the metabolism unit. So we're coming back to, to thinking about that as well. But that was evidence that if energy was being used, then the yeast were reproducing as well. And you saw those little pictures of the, the yeast buds that was evidence that they were reproducing. So <clears throat> this week, you're going to use what we learned about that to try to increase the number of births in a population in the sim. So you're gonna use three populations mode. And then you're first, we're gonna focus on increasing births in a wee bug population. And then the next the, um, lesson will be on um, deaths changing in a population and see how that happens, <clears throat> see what happens there. So you're gonna to need to figure out um, where the wee bugs get the energy. And so when we look at the um, sim, this is kind of fun, you're gonna click on the food web for the sim ecosystem and you'll see how um, the, the food web. So remember that the resource population has the arrow going to, uh, to the wee bug population, the consumer population, because this energy is the energy storage molecules being given to the wee bugs when they're eating the green leaves. And the fur bills are um, the consumer population of the wee bugs. So that's what this is showing. So you'll learn more about this, that in the lesson, but that's just so we know that the wee bugs are getting their storage molecules from the green leaf. <clears throat> so in the um, sim, you're going to run a test where, um, well, you can watch the demonstration, sorry where you're going to um, make a hypothesis of what you think is going to happen, how to have more births in the wee bug population, and then you'll do that in the sim. So I'm just gonna show you the sim. And you're gonna kind of do something similar for the, the death changing in the um, deaths, how that, that changes the population in the second time. So you're gonna let it run for 20 time units and then you'll hit pause. And then you're gonna come over here and let's say that I would wanted to increase the green leaf population. And a little increase isn't gonna be enough. So you want a significant amount. So I'm gonna make it be 200 and notice how you can see all the little green leaves coming. 
And once I get there, I am going to lock it. And then I'll click play. And I'm gonna, you're gonna run it for another 20. And you can see this, um, there is also um, a video showing the investigation, um, but it's kind of fun to do it yourself as well. Oops, I, I, I didn't stop in time, but you'll hopefully, you'll, you will have to do another one um, or watch the video of the person. So when you analyze, notice how you can move this. You wanna collect the before, of the wee bug population, the births and deaths, and after the change, the births and deaths. So that's what you will do for let the first lesson. And a similar thing will happen for the, the deaths. So in, in the first lesson, you're gonna use the sim to try to increase the births and the wee bug population. And in this one, you're going to do a similar activity, but you're gonna to try to decrease the deaths. So you'll use the similar um, your data and answering the questions as you go. So you'll use certain similar graph to collect the data is what I was trying to say. So those are the two uh, Nearpod lessons that you're going to do this week. And then once you have done those, you're really gonna think about um, a writing prompt. Remember to carefully read the information on the writing prompt answer the prompt using the listed vocabulary words and make sure to add details to explain your answer. So after you've had a chance to write, then you're gonna post your response and take time to read a few other students' responses and respond to at least two classmates' responses. And remember just, I agree or good job isn't enough. You need to write at least two sentences when responding to your classmates. So you could ask a question or make a comment about the other students' responses. So here is the um, writing prompt and notice how right away, but from based on this picture, we know that the roe deer is the resource population for the lynx, which is a consumer population and the lynx gets its energy storage molecules from the roe deer. So um, <clears throat> then it says that the lynx and roe deer live near Glacier Sea. Lynx eat roe deer, which we know based just based on the picture, right? Lynx had almost disappeared from the Glacier Sea area because of hunting by humans, which would be interesting because then what's happening to the roe deer, right? In 1940, it became illegal to hunt lynx. When the hunting stopped, the lynx population increased in size. When this happened, what happened to the roe deer? So make sure you explain and be sure to discuss births and deaths in your answer. You may also wanna use these following words which I just kind of explained to you all three of them as well. So those are your lessons for this week and make sure that um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or join me for office hours from two to three, Monday through Friday. Hope you have a great week and get lots of learning done.